I think what historic Columbus has done goes way beyond the physical structures themselves. It, it says what's important to us and our roots and our beginnings and our pioneers and our early years are the base on which we are building our future. And I look around this city and I see progress on every corner. I see activity, I see people pouring into town. And I think about that small band of leaders, that, that group of pioneers, if you will, that really decided that the Springer needed to be saved and that the historic district of Columbus needed to be preserved and rehabilitated. And it really was the start of just about everything you see in this entire town. The Star Columbus was founded in 1966. And by 1969, we thought we really needed an executive director. And somebody asked me, who asked you to be the director? And I said, absolutely nobody, I volunteered. You never knew if you were gonna crawl through an old building or you were gonna meet with the president of the Chamber of Commerce. It was exciting and we have just had a wonderful 50 years. I don't know any organization that could have kept your attention and had something new every day. We have focused a lot of our efforts early on in the original city and we've grown to include the, the Midtown area with its six historic districts. Our next exciting chapter really is all about continuing that economic development. I think Columbus has a rich history and when we preserve that, it gives us a sense of community pride and historical significance. And without historic preservation, I think we lose sight of how far we've come. Historic preservation is so much more than restoring old homes, old buildings, landscapes, and gardens. It's preserving and saving culture and heritage for future generations to come. Historic preservation is certainly a great way to look at our past. It's a good way to connect us to what went earlier. But also there are traditions of construction, there's traditions of living that don't get replicated in the modern form. And so we're able to go back and really look at the way people lived then. As a matter of fact, some of our best preserved spaces are, are what uh, new urban folks are trying to replicate. And if we had torn them down and scratched them from the earth, then we'd have to be recreating that. Here we can just backfill and make these places even better. Where do people want to live here in town? Where's the place to be in order to really understand what Columbus is about? And that's easy for us. We take them through Midtown, we take them through the different districts, the 11 districts we have here in town. It makes it quite easy to show someone in a day what all Columbus has to offer in the way of community. The fact that we as a community have taken the initiative to preserve these homes and preserve these districts. Uh, it has created a vital center and a core for folks to want to live and to enjoy our city. Any given day in this building you could look out and see tourists taking photos of the building, taking photos of family members in front of the historic marker, or even artists that were set up across the street painting the building. So working out of this location has given me a tremendous respect for preserving our history. When I was small uh, and we traveled a little bit, my father would always take us to a museum in whatever town that uh, we were in, and one day I asked him, why, why in the world do you take us to these museums and stuff? And he says that the community values the things that are in that museum. This is what the community wants you to know about themselves. But when you get to that town, the first thing you see are the buildings when you're going there. Well, I think historic preservation is a, plays a very positive role in the economic development of the community. And as neighborhoods get redeveloped, you end up having the tax base is increased, and it's a very positive role financially for the community. Preserving older buildings, adapting them for reuse, obviously saves a whole lot of money as far as things that would ultimately wind up in our landfills. It provides jobs for people. Uh, certainly it's a tourist attraction uh, for folks that, to come to our community and find out about our roots. Uh, that's very important that we've preserved a lot of that for them to come see. 
I think the efforts of Historic Columbus and its efforts to educate children have been amazing. Uh, from the Box City Camps to uh, all of their different summer programs, kids have something that they can find uh, that interests them, but also teaches them about the history of Columbus and even their own history. Um, it was cool to see how every house looked different and none of the houses looked the exact same and all the different features. It teaches us how important all the homes are and all the history behind it. And it's important to save and protect all these special houses. Historic Columbus can go into the community and save buildings that uh, individual developers can't save. With uh, donated money, we can stabilize buildings that are falling apart that won't be around in 10 years if uh, somebody doesn't save them. And if Historic Columbus can't save them, uh, who can? So we're in the business of saving things. The Revolving Redevelopment Fund has been a tool that Historic Columbus has used for almost its 50 years. And I think it has brought back on the tax rolls in Columbus over $12 million in revitalized properties. And with uh, more funding, they will be able to expand the facade loan program, increase the amount of these interest-free loans, and I think target new neighborhoods that have not been recipients before. Where I live is particularly important to me. My parents over the years have lovingly restored St. Elmo. Preserving our buildings says that we have respect for our history. We admire what we've created in the past and we also respect what's going on now. Having Historic Columbus as a partner as a nonprofit in a theoretically a for-profit venture means that the, the skills that they have and the skills that I have uh, worked together and hopefully we'll have a successful project. I think this project is more than just salvaging these buildings and sealing them. I think our goal is to renovate and use. Not everybody is excited about being 50, but Historic Columbus is really excited about being 50. We're already thinking about the next 50 years. We're going to stabilize city mills. We're going to increase redevelopment funds in our historic neighborhoods, and we're going to provide even more programming and education for our community. Save Me a Place is so much more than a theme. With your help, we're going to save a place for every generation. And I really think that uh, the best is yet to come. This is not the end point. This is another beginning.